Now, if anyone anyone who knows me will tell you, I am a big fan of Doctor Who. However, with the series currently off the air, for, for the time being, for, for this year at least, and with them filming for season 10, I needed something to kind of fill the void. So, here today, I'm going to sh share with you six shows that I think f fill the void that Doctor Who left pre pretty well, and I think most people who like Doctor Who would probably enjoy. So, my first show, if you wanted to find something to fill the void that... Doctor Who's leaving just for the time being. My first choice is The Sarah Jane Adventures. Yeah, it's definitely a spin-off from Doctor Who, but I think it was done pretty well. It ran for it ran for five seasons when it was sadly cancelled due to the sudden death of its star Elizabeth Sladen. But the show, for what it gave us, got like four and a half seasons, it gave us some really good stuff. I mean it gave us the return of of Doctor Who monsters that we had seen over time, such as the Sontarans, the Slitheen, and the Jadoon, but also gave us a host of new characters, a host of new storylines, and really made us reconnect with this character who's had spent a long time off the Doctor Who screen. So, yeah, I, I think it's a good show to check out. I mean, it was aimed at children, but I think it's still, it's still pretty good. Anyway, my next choice is... The Arrowverse. Yeah, I'm technically cheating with this one, but if I was to include every single sh show from the Arrowverse, Arrow, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl, and and everything, it would probably take up half the list. But I'll. But I got into Arrow first, and then The Flash, and everything after that, and I do feel it's a very good show. It brings up some of the characters, much loved characters from DC Comics, such as. Green Arrow, The Flash, uh, Rip Hunter, and all the characters in between, and uh, and Supergirl due to be arriving soon. To which, yeah, I mean, if you're into com, if you're into comics, yeah, the these these shows, they'll, they'll give you something to pass the time with. Yeah, I think they're pretty good. Now, my third choice is Elementary. Now, some people may have a little bit of an aversion to the show because it may be a bit too similar to the BBC's version, Sherlock. But I like to think it goes another direction. I mean, as with the Sherlock, uh, as with the BBC version of Sherlock, it's set in the modern day. Only it, instead of Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman, you get John Lee Lee Miller and Lucy Liu as Joan Watson. And I like to think it goes in its own direction, kind of adapting a few classic stories, but then doing so quite well. That they, they did a very kind of clever twist around the around the second or third series, uh, kind of showing off a medical device called the Hound, that was a reference to the Hound of the Baskervilles, which I think was done really well. And I, I, I grew to love this show. I mean, it there are a few more episodes to it than say Sherlock, but. I enjoy it. Now, my fourth... Uh, hang on, is that... One, two, three... Uh, one, two, three... Uh. Yeah, my fourth entry would probably be the medical drama House. Now, it ran for eight seasons, and it, it's got a fair amount of weight, weight to it. I mean, it's got Hugh Laurie as a... as a rather tact for... well untactful physician who you know who has to solve medical cases in order to save in order to save sick people. I mean I mean if if you love Hugh Laurie it it's a good series to watch and I I really love it. Although one thing I will say just if you are a bit kind of squeamish or don't really like the sight of blood or icky things, probably best stay away from that. But if you love Hugh Laurie and love to and love to see him humiliate people, then give House a watch. It's a pretty good go. Now, around last year, one of the Christmas presents I got was Firefly. And that is my next option. Th this show, I've heard so much about it for such a long time, and I finally watched it through, and it is beautiful. It it is a brilliant series. Joss Whedon really outdid himself. I have spoken about it before, but I'm going to say it again. Firefly was a masterpiece. 
it was it was a pity they didn't get to do more, but my family have recently got Firefly, uh, no, not Firefly, uh, Serenity, which I hope to watch pretty soon, and it'll be nice to see how they try and tie things up. But for any of you who haven't seen it, I suggest give it a watch, as it is a brilliant series. And my final choice, and it is probably my most recent choice, is another one by Joss Whedon, and it is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I mean, I... It was sitting around my house for years. I... I have kept my distance from it, but I finally sat down, started watching it, and I absolutely love the show. I mean... Sarah Michelle Gellar, Anthony Head, Alison Hannigan, Nicholas Brendan, all of them are fantastic in this. Seth Green as well. Charisma Carpenter, every single person I love in this, every single part of it. I mean, I'm currently up to the third season, and I'm absolutely loving the show. I advise anyone who hasn't seen it, I'd say give it a shot. I mean, if you're into stuff like like thriller or horror, it it's a brilliant show. I mean, I'll admit I'm not that much of a horror fan, but this for me is just perfect. I mean, yeah. I say, if you haven't, give it a try. It's brilliant. So, so there we are. I mean, I'll, I'll be happy to see Doctor Who return next year, but for the rest of the year, I'm pretty stocked up. I've got a good load of shows to keep me going. See ya.